The Celtics shooting about 47%. A nice number. And for the Mavericks, Luka and Kyrie are the talented backcourt. P.J. Washington out there with Daniel Gafford. And it's Exum in at the three spot. Boy, that is some kind of heads-up basketball from Holiday. He does not sleep on the wide-open man and found him perfect. Here's Irving. Rebounded by the Celtics. Couldn't quite line that one up. Just got to shake it off and move on to the next one. And stolen by Irving. Here's Exum. Now Doncic to the middle. Here's Washington. The basket drops, and he gets fouled on the shot. One free throw coming his way. Really good control that time by Washington. Embraced the physical contact and then worked his way through it. Mind the lanes. Mind the lanes. One shot. And here's Tatum. Pass to White. Back to Tatum. Shot clock at six. It's stolen by Irving. Doncic with it. Now guarded by White. Doncic against White. Now here's Doncic. Tight defense on him. Well, that's a rare miss for him inside. He may have just rushed it a bit. Maybe lost concentration, too. Right side Brown. Pass to Holiday. Six on the shot clock. And here's Tatum. He's guarded by Irving. Tatum can't hit. You know, guys, you can tell he wants to contribute more, but his teammates have picked up the slack for him. That's what being on the team is all about. Here's Holiday. That falls. Nice feed that time from Tatum. Holiday's got eight. Jason Tatum scores, but also creates for his teammates a sign of his continuing growth as a player. On the wing, Irving. Doncic against Holiday. Washington outside. Here's Exum. He's got five. Who poked away? The baseline J deflected. White doing an excellent job coming up with the block there. And so Brown will bring it up for Boston. Since the second half started, they've only given up three points. Holiday finds Brown. It's rebounded by Dallas. Washington's got six rebounds now in the game. White against Irving. With the drive. Doncic against Holiday. Shot clock at five. From the arc. Doncic, no good. He's been just a little off the mark tonight. Really the story of the game so far. Tatum passes to Holiday. Brown scanning the floor. He shoots. And he hits the jumper for two. He's got seven. You know, when Brown has that jump shot working, guys, he's very hard to slow down. Nice time looking out, release out. on his shot. Timeout on the floor. Mavericks. Mark. Failing to find a rhythm offensively. Something that needs to change and change soon. And I think this timeout, guys, is where you draw up some plays that are guaranteed to create some high percentage shots.
The Mavericks making a switch here. Green is checked in. The Celtics also with a sub. Cornette's checked in. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the third quarter. Get through, get through, get through. Green against White. Gafford passes to Washington. Doncic outside. Takes a three. With the tip. Great positioning on the putback. Washington's got ten. He's really carrying the load. But no man can do it all by himself. Brown passes to Holiday. Outside Tatum. White with it. Outside Brown. Six to shoot. On the wing, Holiday. He gets hauled in by Exum. The Mavericks have gotten only two of seven shots to go in the third quarter. Washington finds Doncic. Pass to Gafford. Now Washington. And here's Doncic. The three ball. And it's Cornett with a rebound. It hasn't been his best quarter. I mean, he's trying to shoot himself out of the slump. Doncic against Holiday. Anytime they want, 24-7, give the ball to Holiday and just let him make a play. No good on that one. You know, in the case of Drew Holiday, having two brothers in the league, I think, probably has added motivation for him to excel. Jones, he's checked in for Exum. Good on the second one. And it's the Mavericks with the ball. It's a 14-point game. Offensively, it's been a struggle for them. Yeah, they need to string together some shots to have any kind of chance. Luka uses his body to create space and then finds the inside look. The Celtics have gotten three of six shots to fall so far in the third. Here's Cornette. Inside. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. Exactly. The defense determined not to allow the easy layup right there. They'll settle for making him earn the free throws. First one falls for him. Holiday hits them both. And so it's Doncic with it. He brings it up for Dallas. They trail by 14. Luca, Get off me! For calm and collected inside. Doncic's scoring ability wide-ranging. Now here's White. Five points in the game. Dallas will have it.
The Mavericks have gotten only four of ten shots to time fall out, so far out. in the third. And Dallas calls time here. Guarded. Jones finds Washington. Doncic against Holiday. Doncic, no good. You know, sometimes making it difficult for him to finish at the rim is all you can ask for from the defense. 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 Holiday with the ball. He's got 11. Defense. Pass to Cornette. Defense. Outside Tatum. Fires the three. Boston, no good that time either. Dallas has got nothing to fall from outside in this third quarter. From deep, here's Doncic. Offensive rebound, Mavericks. Lively shot is off. The Celtics have gone three of seven here in this third quarter. Here's Holiday. And the shot goes. Holiday's got seven now in this quarter. Boy, Holiday's a strong guard. Does not mind mixing it up at all. He can play physical if he needs to. Doncic passes to Lively. Here's Washington. Tatum with a steal. Out on his own on the break. Oh, Tatum slams it home. You've got to be careful around Tatum now. If you're not paying attention, he'll take that ball away from you quickly. Doncic deciding where to go with it. White against Green. Shoots over White. Ooh, a little luck that time as it drops. Green's got his first bucket in this one. You know, they'll take the points, but I'm sure Coach would prefer a higher percentage look next time. And Boston calls time here. You know, he could see his squad was losing momentum, losing steam. Smart timeout to let them catch their breath and reset.
Hardaway's checked in for the Mavericks. Al Horford's checked in for Boston. Pritchard comes in for Drew Holiday. On defense, the Mavericks. It's a 14-point game. To the left wing. Back to Pritchard. Horford, left side. Clock at six. Sends it home from three-point land. Horford's got 11 points. Horford grabs the ball and immediately gets into a shot. you got to prepare with your feet and then be ready with your hand. Here's Hardaway. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. That one on White. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first free throw is good. Hardaway hits them both. Productive trip to the line. He doesn't like to leave points on the table. Boston has gone one of two shooting from the perimeter since halftime. Here's Pritchard. Pass to Horford. And stolen by Green. Oh, there's the alley! Saw his teammate with a path to the rim, and boom, lobbed it up there beautifully. Very smooth catch and finish. And he chose the conservative finish with the nice, easy layup, which was a good decision. And the call is going to be, yes, an illegal screen. And that's two awful trips in a row resulting in turnovers. One of the trickier plays to judge, but it would be hard to argue against the call. Yeah, you know, the officials aren't nearly as lenient as they used to be on that call. As a matter of fact, I know I got away with a lot of those in my playing days, but that was 40 years ago. And the Mavericks making a change here. Washington's checked in. And so it's Tatum who brings up the ball for the Boston Celtics. 17 points was their biggest margin. How about the D from Doncic? These guys appreciate when he gives that kind of effort at the defensive end. Hardaway. Rebound Boston. Well, you got to miss sometimes, but that one seemed like a gimme. Here's Pritchard. Oh, it's blocked by Washington. And for the Mavericks, they're shooting 35% in the third quarter. Hardaway, the pass to Green. Oh, he picked him clean. Now White. He's got five. To the inside. And he's going to the line for two. The officials saw contact while he was going up. The officials were right on top of that one. Clearly a foul. I mean, didn't give him any choice but to blow the whistle. I mean, you got to play without foul. And the first one at the line is good. And the Mavericks making a change here. Irving's checked in.
Hits both from the stripe. Really always a plus to have a big guy stroke it from the line like that. The soft touch on full display. Outside, green. Here's Lively. And here is Green. Six on the shot clock. Here's Lively. The short one's on the money. Now what's the saying? Don't box out. You get your feelings hurt. Pass to Cornette. Now here's Tatum. He has six. And here's White. Outside Tatum. Over Green. Again, the miss by the Celtics. The Mavericks shooting just 38%. Their offense not where they want to be. From 13. Rebound Boston. Tatum's got rebound number eight now. Pass to Pritchard. And stolen by Irving. And a fast break now. The Mavericks on the run. And here's Green from the arc. Offensive rebound. Hardaway's shot is good. Hardaway's got six. Well, I tell you what. Energy and activity from Hardaway Jr. there. Showing you exactly what it takes to keep plays alive. Pritchard, the pass to Tatum. 116 left in the third quarter. There's the block. Out of bounds. Celtics ball as Boston keeps possession. Exum's checked in for Green. Porzingis has checked in for Boston. Here's Pritchard. White on the wing. Shot clock at six. Three-pointer goes up. Three-pointer goes down for White. Boy, White is a capable three-point shooter now, and he does not need a lot of space or time to get off his shot. Outside Irving. Over to the left wing. Exum passes to Irving. Beyond the arc. Tatum pulls it in. Tatum's got nine rebounds now. 36 seconds left in the third quarter. And the shot counts. He's fouled, and it's a chance for a three-point play. Free throw, no good. You really like your chances with Tatum at the line. He locks in and focuses on these two. Pass to Lively. On the wing, Irving. Forford pulls it in. Yet yeah, that's another miss for him. They're behind in this game largely because he shot so poorly. There's Tatum with the three. And again, Boston with the triple. Their strategy has been pretty simple here in the second half. Attack from three-point range. Certainly. I mean, they saw a weakness in the perimeter defense and took advantage of it. And so it's the Boston Celtics out in front by 19 going into the break. Defense is setting the tone. Back after this. And welcome back to our coverage of Game 3 on 2K Sports.
Dallas shooting 36% for the game. Not great. And a look at the five for the Celtics to start the fourth quarter. White and Brown are the two and the three. Kristaps Porzingis out there with Jason Tatum. And it's Holiday in at the point guard position. Here's Irving. Pass to Lively. And he can't get that one. Tatum with some nice D. Brown drives in. And Brown with the stuff. They're really dictating the tempo on both ends of the court. You love it. And don't leave out the coaching staff here now. I mean, their game plan has been perfect. Here's Exum. Just four to shoot. Gafford in the post. Defended by Porzingis. A chance to catch up on some numbers here. The scoring breakdown for the Celtics. Well, they have owned the offensive perimeter throughout this game. Finding lots of openings and turning them into big shots. And I love the fact they kept the pressure on, really pushing that ball, running it up the floor. I love seeing that. A team staying aggressive even when they're playing well. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That free throw good from Gafford. And they've done well from the free throw line this half. No misses yet. And that efficiency is, you know, so critical when you're looking to overcome a deficit. You've got to be close to perfect and can't waste scoring opportunities. He makes one or two that time. And so it's Holiday who brings up the ball for the Celtics. Here's Tatum. Nice D from Gafford. Pass to Doncic. Ooh, good finish at the rack off the slick feed. And that's the weight room strength of Doncic right there. Fully displayed. Boston dictating the flow. Outside White. Back to Brown. Outside White. Jacks up a three. And a great assist by Brown as that one goes in. Brown's got three assists now in this one. For Dallas, they've gotten just one shot to fall out of three attempts in the fourth. Here's Doncic. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. This guy is a tremendous shot maker. That really was a tough bucket from Luka Doncic. Pass to White. And we're about two minutes into the fourth here. Now Brown. He nails it. That's his fifth making 11 tries. And I know the defense was all over Brown that time, guys, but in the end, he's just too skilled for him in the paint. Exum passes to Doncic. Here's Exum. And he lobs it up. Oh, got a piece of it. Oh, it's blocked by Porzingis. That reach of Porzingis is just outrageous. I mean, I love when he uses it on defense to stifle shooters. To the paint. Oh, Tatum slams it home. Since half, there's been a stark contrast between these teams. I'm talking about efficiency at the offensive end. And that's why you have such a huge gap in the shooting numbers between the teams. Doncic passes to Exum. Dallas needs to get off a shot. Here's Irving. Hauled in by Brown. You know, he's just not taking good shots, not taking smart shots, forcing up a lot of low percentage junk there. Tatum passes to Holiday. Pass to Brown. On the take. Outside Porzingis. Three-pointer, no good. 
For Dallas, they've gotten only two of six attempts to drop in the fourth. Outside Tatum. Holiday with the ball. Over three and a half minutes through the final quarter now. Tatum finds Brown. Pass to Holiday. From deep three-point land. Mavericks with the rebound. Would you say testing the limits of his range there? You know, guys, I think he's got confidence to shoot it from anywhere, but he could have gotten a better one than that. Gafford passes to Irving. You know, I like how Irving also keeps the defense guessing, keeps them off balance, and he's so crafty and creative around the basket. Shooting two. That free throw good from Irving. Kyrie Irving, special. I mean, as skilled a player as you'll ever see when it comes to handling the ball and scoring in close. Both free throws good from Irving. Boston's gone one for three in the fourth quarter from range. Pass to Tatum. Lively grabs the miss. Lively's got nine rebounds in the game. Boy, he's getting it done. Here's Irving. Nice assist and nice finish. Solid play all the way around. Love watching Irving do his work in there. Kyrie's so good and crafty and tight. Wide with it. They kick it out to Porzingis. And it goes out of bounds. That one off Porzingis. Well, he just didn't make the catch. Didn't look the ball into his hands. He must have thought the ball was going somewhere else. Washington's checked in for the Mavericks. Holiday against Doncic. Pass to Exum. Now here's Gafford. An open look for Irving. Gets it to go from 18 feet away. Able to strike from mid-range and all over the court. The versatility of Kyrie's offensive game. Top shelf. Outside White. The kick to Tatum. Launches a three. Drops in the three. You can really see that his confidence is at a high level here in this half. He didn't have a three in the first. Irving against White. Now here's Irving. The D's right on him. Pass to Doncic. Basket is good. Nice setup from Irving. Doncic has got ten points here in the second half. We've seen that more than once today. An effortless basket inside. Well, listless and lifeless at the defensive end. I mean, especially inside. They've really got to pick up that interior defense. Well, he's been a different player here in the second half, looking much more comfortable on the offensive end. And he's going for the oop here. And the dunk by Gafford. The gliding the pass to where it needed to be. Wow, a strong finish to seal the deal. And that's an alley-oop that'll be loop-to-loop -loop all day long on the highlight reel. It's stolen. Irving with it. Now guarded by White. Here's Washington. No luck on that one. Nice D from Tatum. 
showing great intensity around the rim is part of why he's a respected defender. And you know what? He's not going to give up an easy finish at the rim. I mean, that's just uh, against his constitution. Now Doncic. Pass to Gafford. Washington outside. Just five on the clock. Here's Exum. Defended by Brown. Let's it fly. Rebound Boston. Tatum's got 12 rebounds here tonight. Big time effort. Now White. Here's Holiday. Back to White. Outside Tatum. Again, the miss by the Celtics. The Mavericks have gotten six of their 13 shots to go. And here's Doncic. And he drives in. He is comfortable putting his head down and attacking. Doncic is unfazed, unflappable, even against beastly defenders. That's good from Doncic. You know, one of the things I like about watching Doncic is the pace he plays at. You're not going to speed him up. He plays at his pace, the pace he dictates. Doncic hits them both. Here's Brown. Top of the key. Tatum. The second chance points on the tip in. Tatum's got seven points for the quarter. Tatum hanging around the basket. Got the board and bucket. Pass to Gafford. Here's Exum, defended by Brown. Doncic outside. Six to shoot. Washington with the ball. 4-3. The offensive rebound. Exum's shot is off. Might like a do over there. Quality look inside. Down low. Here's Brown, and the jam by Brown. The athletic Brown with a big-time slam. you got to defend him better than this. They need something good to happen here. Yeah, they've gone way too long without a score. Now here's Gafford. Outside Irving. Launches it. Connects from downtown. One triple for him in the first half. Now he's hit another. And it's Holiday with the ball for the Celtics. Timeout, timeout. Earlier, they held a 23-point lead. And the Celtics call time here. You know, he recognized his players were fatigued and needed it to catch their breath. Those guys were cooked out there.
Let's take a moment to present the New Balance player of the game, Jason Tatum. Just an effective weapon for them on the inside tonight. He was such a reliable option for them on offense with his muscling his way to the basket from the low block. Boy, he took pride in being the number one option for them, not wanting to let a chance to go to the finals go to waste. Brown passes to Holiday. Doncic grabs the miss. Doncic has got his seventh rebound here tonight. And it's Washington missing. Boy, just cannot buy a bucket, guys. I'll tell you what, that's a painful quarter for him, and it's painful for me to watch, too. Holiday passes to Porzingis. Over Washington. Oh, he missed the layup. He had it with the pump fake. Dallas has gone one of two from deep in this quarter. Doncic outside. From deep three-point land. The shot, no good. Nice D from Brown. Boston's got two of five threes to go here in the fourth. Washington against Tatum. Pass to Brown. Puts up a three. The Mavericks pull it in. Gafford's got his fourth rebound in this one. The Mavericks shooting right below 40% here in the fourth. Here's Exum, hounded by Tatum. Irving for three. And it's Jason Tatum with a rebound. Boston's shooting at a 48% clip from the floor. And here's White. Here's Holiday, and the shot goes down. Timeout, Holiday's timeout. got four points now in the quarter. And with Game 3 of the NBA Championship Series about wrapped up, you have to applaud the remarkable effort we saw on the floor tonight. A well-deserved win for the Celtics. Check out their assist numbers. They didn't get stuck in isolation. They got the ball to the guys who had the best matchups. And this win will put them on the cusp of a championship. Just one more victory needed to raise the Larry O'Brien trophy. And I don't think anything will stand in the way of that happening. They have been so determined and so focused throughout this postseason. They're on a mission, and there's no way they're backing down now. And while there were some guys out there that played well, what really stood out was the production for Jason Tatum. And I love how active he was on the glass. Not afraid to get physical and do whatever he could do to grab boards. And the Mavericks with some changes. Jones, he's checked in for Exum. And Hardaway is subbed in for Luka Doncic. So Boston going with almost an entire new group here. Cornette's checked in for Kristaps Porzingis. Tillman comes in for Tatum. Hauser, he's checked in for White. And Pritchard is subbed in for Drew Holiday. Here's Hardaway. And good. Coming on the assist by Irving. Irving's got his fourth assist with that last one. Boston has gone two of six so far in the fourth. Pass to Hauser. A minute four left in the fourth quarter. It's Brown on the wing. Just five to shoot. Driving to the basket. Oh, he connects. His seventh basket. He's seven of 15 now. This is what winning is all about. Playing your best when it matters most. Yeah, you know, once they got victory in their view, a huge injection of energy and a great run to finish it off. It's nice they found their rhythm here, but the clock is just not their friend. Now they're playing with urgency, huh? 
They could have done it much earlier before the game was out of reach. Here's Tillman. He's guarded by Washington. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. And he can't get the first one. He does not get the second one. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. And good. Coming on the assist by Irving. 23 seconds left to play in the fourth. Boy, you love how guys are making plays for one another here. Yeah, just a balanced attack, a total team effort. Here's Pritchard. And so it's Boston easily grabbing this one. And now that they're up 3-0, winning this whole series is well within their grasp. You think it's only a matter of time, but the postseason is all about expecting the unexpected. They need to stay focused and finish strong. Well, that'll do it. Thanks for joining us for Game 3 of the NBA Finals. For Clark Kellogg, Allie LaForce, and Grant Hill, this is Brian Anderson. So long, everyone.